All right, in Lesson 3.6, which is the uh, last lesson in Chapter 3, uh, the topic is called uh, Inductive Reasoning. Now, um, in your notes, uh, label um, this as Lesson 3.6 with the topic of Inductive Reasoning. Now, before we uh, start uh, with some examples of what uh, this lesson's about, let's compare what we call deductive reasoning to inductive reasoning. Really, everything up to this point um, we've been doing deductive reasoning. And in your notes, I would just set it up like you see on the screen. So you have a little room underneath deductive and, and inductive. And let me give you some examples of deductive reasoning. Uh, deductive reasoning, um, things are, ex they're based on accepted statements. So I'm going to write down accepted statements. So in other words, accepted statements may be definitions, they may, may be postulates, you know, these are the things that are geometry related. Uh, they may be theorems. And really to summarize this up, deductive reasoning is based on facts. And I'm going to put that in a capital letter and underline it. Because deductive reasoning is based on facts. So in other words, here's the rule, or here's the fact, and then we can base, a, base a, a, you know, a final conclusion on those facts. Now, inductive reasoning is simply based on observation. So in other words, we see something, or we hear something, and then we base a conclusion on what we see. Now, what we see may be something that's true, and it may be something that's untrue. Now, something that I related to is sometimes in high school, a lot of students may base something on, on what they see or observation, or sometimes rumors. Now, sometimes those rumors may be true. Sometimes they may not be true. But any, anyway... If somebody starts a rumor, they're basing something on an observation, on something they see or something they hear, and that's something that they see or hear may be true and it may be untrue. So notice the difference between these, and I'm going to highlight this just to emphasize this. With deductive reasoning, it's based on facts or, or um, you know, definitions or, or whatever. With inductive reasoning, it's, it's based on observation, okay? on what we see. So that may be rumors. Now let's go over some examples of this. Um, I'm gonna, I've got some examples. And let's take a look at the first one. It says Ramon has, has noticed, and it should be noticed, has noticed that the last four Mondays have been sunny. So in other words, the last four Mondays have been sunny. Ramon decides that every sun Monday will be sunny. Now, what we want to write down or, or decide here, is this deductive? Is Ramon thinking deductively or is he thinking inductively? Um, is he basing the, he says that the next Monday will be sunny. Now, is he basing this on facts or is he basing it on observation from the past few Mondays? And the answer to this is he's basing it on um, observation. He's observed the last four Mondays have been sunny, so he's thinking, all right, the next uh, Monday will be sunny. So this would be inductive reasoning. It says, Bertha notices that every time a certain student passes her in the hall, that she gets a bad look on her face. So Bertha notices that every time a certain student passes her in the hall, that student kind of looks at her and kind of gets a bad look on her face. Bertha concludes that the student hates her. Now, is, is Bertha's line of reasoning from facts, or is it from something she observed? And again, the answer is, it's based on something she's observed. She's observed this student. There's nothing that says that it's a fact that this student uh, dislikes her. Bertha just um, observes this, and she bases her reasoning on this. So this would be inductive reasoning. Festus. Festus read in an Iowa driver's manual that drivers need to stop on a red light. Festus concludes that he has to stop on a red light. Now, with him deciding that he needs to stop on a red light, is this based on fact? Is it based on a rule? Or is it based on something he's observed? 
where he sees other people stopping at a red light. And he read it. He read it in the Iowa's driver's manual. So it's based on fact. It's based on a rule. So this would be deductive reasoning. Um, Florence notices that three different triangles. She obtains a total of 180 when adding the three angles. She decides that the sum of the three angles in a triangle has to be 180. Now, did she read this? Was she told that? Did somebody say that? Were they read it for a fact that the three angles add up to 180? Or is it something she observed? Is it something that she did when she was, um, you know, just kind of, you know, using some trial and error and adding three angles up of every triangle and no, noticing that she got a total of 180? And the answer to this is it's something she's observed. Um, it, it wasn't based on facts. She didn't read this out of a, a book or anything. She, she based it on just observation. So this last example would be inductive reasoning. Now this isn't, uh, so again, we're just comparing deductive to inductive. It's not a real in-depth um, type of topic as far as how much we get into it in this chapter. But just realize that deductive based on facts, inductive based on observation.